So I'm here with the uh, Emory University Eagles after their 3-2 uh, win over Clarkson. Um, we're going to start right now just to congratulations on the win. A uh, big, big win, number one seed. Um, defending champions coming in here. Uh, Coach, opening statement for you uh, just about how the match went. It was real back and forth there for a while. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Um, we knew they were going to play great. Um, you know, when you get to a final eight, all these teams are really good. I don't go by seeds, to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, it's just a number somebody else puts on. Yeah. Uh, all we thought about was Clarkson, and they played like we thought they would play. Yeah. Uh, their libero played amazing, and, you know, th their hitters move all over the place. That's an extremely well-coached team. Yeah. And they've had a phenomenal year, and we congratulate them. And, you know, we're thankful to win that match. Yeah, definitely. Um, so s starting off with some of the players, uh, set one uh, came out, won the first set. Um, you know, for you, Morgan, it seemed like right at the end of that first set, uh, you had, I think, three or four critical kills right at the end to kind of put it away. Um, you know, what were you seeing on the defense on the other side? You know, was it uh, just something we swing away? What was the game plan there? Yeah. Um Honestly, when I hit, I don't really think. I just get a swing and something get happens. Um, but also, I'm going to give credit to my setter. Like, honestly, she sees what I don't see, and she puts the ball where I need it to be um, to be successful, and I owe it all to her. Yeah, definitely. Um, set two, back and forth. Um, we saw your offense uh, kind of get a little stale there for a little bit, and Clarkson picked up their defense and had a few big blocks there. Um, talk about kind of where that momentum went and, you know, what you were telling yourselves after set two. Um, after set two, we realized that we weren't playing like ourselves. We weren't bringing that joy to the court that people see whatever, wherever they're watching, whether they're here at home, yeah. at school. Um, and we all made it a point to look to each other a little bit more and to have a few more smiles on the court, as simple as it sounds. Like, we're a very joyful team and we love to have fun together. And when we do that, we're able to play anyone. And I think that showed with the third set, we changed Great. our demeanor, we changed our mindset. Um, we stayed hungry, but we also celebrated what each other were doing like in the set itself, yeah. like each point, each pass, each serve, um, all those things. And that, that carries a lot more weight than it may seem. Yeah, so Tara in set three, I, I, from my eyes, it definitely looked that the serving picked up a little bit, and you really poured it on and were aggressive from the service line. Mm -hmm. And as you said, you were smiling, There was you were having a lot of fun, the bench was really in it. You know, how did that set three, you know, after that set two timeout, how did set three feel, and you know, what was the, what was the message? Yeah, I think set three, we were just trying to go out there and just have a lot of fun and just kind of like take the pressure off of the match. Like, yes, it's a big match, but let's just have fun and kind of like go balls to the walls. Yeah, and I know after set three, coach, you knew, coach, you knew that Clarkson was going to battle. They've battled um, the last how many matches to get here. Exactly. Um, and so, you know, set five came. You know, what was your message to the team, trying to get them motivated for set five? Um, and, you know, did you have any game plans that you were trying to execute or keep aggressive from the service line? What was that? Yeah, you know, we've played quite a few fifth sets lately yeah. in, the, in the past month. And so we, we felt like we had been battle tested. I mean, Wittenberg and... Chicago and I mean there, we played so many great teams this year that we went in there with experience playing a fifth set yeah. And so when we got down 03, I didn't see any panic on these guys and um, You know, I saw the smiles starting to come back and we say, you know, we cherish those moments and you know I thought they did a great job. I mean, I told yeah. them I'm so proud of them because Face it, there's pressure coming back as national champs. I mean, Definitely. there just is, but that's not who we are, and that's not what we're about. I yeah. mean, we're about being in the present, enjoying it. Uh, to be honest with you, these guys love each other. We just want to go as long as we can because they love playing together. That's awesome. And I, I kind of looking at the blocking scheme, it looked like you really spread that block out. You really got in front of the right side hitter. You were spread almost all the way to the pin at some points um, and trying to stay in front of her. And it really looked like their offense really was worried about your block. There were a lot of tips, and you were able to be successful there. Um, you know, when you finally got back that momentum mm -hmm. after 3-0, um, you know, what were your mindsets as, a, as players? Um, fifth set coming back. Yeah, Leah, Morgan, anybody? Um, down 0-3 in the fifth. Um, we know volleyball is the game where you just focus on that first contact and we can start rolling like we usually do. Um, Logan came in and had a really crucial ace and that kind of sparked us a little bit. We were able to get back into that. Um, 
celebrate that one point and then all the rest of them came a little bit easier and across the stretch just trusting each ball like MJ or sorry Maureen had yeah. a bunch of incredible digs um, just keeping the ball off the floor and yeah. trusting your defense and working hard in between the ball and that's like it's the non-physical things that make the difference in the fifth set. So going into the tomorrow then, uh, Tara Morgan, anybody, uh, you know, what are your thoughts getting in, getting ready for the next match? And, um, you know, are there any uh, excited to watch, I guess, and see who prevails? Because yeah. I'm sure it'll be a battle just <laughs> yeah, like yours. Definitely. Yeah. Um, we're very excited to have the rest of the day to watch um, our competition. But also, it's, we kind of have this mindset where it's one game at a time. So we're looking to just the next game, not national championship, and just yep. focusing on getting this next game, making sure that we're putting in our full effort, full energy and passion into this next game, and we'll be fine. And coach, we talked about that actually yesterday a little bit, how this team just never seems rattled. You said that, you know, you're the one, I, I can relate as a coach inside, you're going, oh, come on, and they oh, just I'm are dying. always, I'm absolutely yeah, dying. and they're always super calm, you know? so, um, um, you know, to them, what's you know, what are your messages? As we we obviously don't know your opponent yet, but what are you going into tomorrow, and what are your thoughts? You know, I would say our staff does a great job. I mean, they keep me in check, to be honest with you. You know, and um, we, when I'm dying, they're calm, and they tell me, you know, Jenny, you need to put a smile on your face, and all those different things. And um, we have an amazing staff, and so we're not sure who's going to win that next match. But for us, we focus on us and. There are six incredible teams remaining, and you know we're gonna get these guys recovered, get some food, yeah. and and do the best we can to get prepared for tomorrow. But you know we just want to thank Cedar Rapids and the NCA committee and the host here. Um, from the moment we stepped, you know, on this area, it has been nothing but amazing. Um, and I know it's a great championship because of all the hard work that people put into this, and yeah, we appreciate we're, it. We're very happy to have you. Any questions from anybody else? Well, there you have it. Congratulations on your big win, and uh, rest up, get some ice, and uh, eat, and uh, we'll find out who your opponent is here in the next match. Thank you Congratulations. so much. Thank you, thank you.